Welcome beautiful Paris Saint-Germain to the 2-1 victory preview review Paris Saint-Germain of the victory against Stade de Brest. Of course, it was not a performance I want to watch again. It was not a game I want to watch again. But I went through the entire game and here are everything I got from this game that we missed yesterday probably. So this was the formation Paris Saint-Germain went with. Of course, moving back to a four at the back with Marquinhos Mukiele out for this game and Bichabu not being 100% fit. We had to go to a four at the back. And yeah, there was some negativities about it. Of course, Ramos recently has been performing well, but he was in that central center back spot in the three at the back. And here he was, he was less protected, and which led to the goal. And then the right side, they can, as you can see, extremely dead. Warren Zara and Riverati played as a pivot, Fabian on the left, Soler mostly played as a number 10, and Bap as a left forward, and Messi as a right forward that moves into central spaces. So, the right side, yeah, again, very dead, and Pembele just doesn't cut it. Doesn't cut it. He is not that right back that we can dominate an entire side, for example, that Nuno Mendes can do. So, and Fabian, I don't know why he's continuing to start. He, he's dog shit. He's absolute ass. Play Vitinha. Vitinha is great. You know, Fabian will leave this club. So Galtier, uh, moving to the fourth back, completely understandable. But Fabian starting, absolutely not. And this is what Brest came up with. It was a 4-3-3. But as soon as the game went, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes, we saw the light. We saw this disgusting 4-5-1 as every league inside does. I think they did it after like 20 minutes when we had a lot of chances. Uh, and yeah, it's not surprising from the breast manager to do this. This is the first chance of the game. Fabian puts a great ball into the box. Messi <laughs> flops and misses the ball. But he actually puts a touch, which gives it to Soler. And Soler, you know, it's it. A great save from Bizot. Was going top corner, but the goalkeeper saved the shot. Again, Messi here trying to feed Kylian Mbappé. Pause doesn't go to him. Flops around. Goes to Marco. Marco takes the shot. First time he's taken a shot since the Trois game. But the shot was blocked by Bressier in the Brest defense. Again here, Messi puts in a good corner kick. Fabian Ruiz with a disgusting header. Disgusting, like free space. That should be going on the target. Again, Pimpele puts a great ball here. Mbappe, I thought he was going to touch it. Jumped over it. Soler gives it back to Mbappe. And Mbappe hits it well. But just not good enough. Mbappe here. Tries an inshallah long shot and Bizot. What a bozo moment from Bozot. Soler is there with the tap in. 1 0 Paris Saint Germain, 36 minutes after the game. And we should have had, we should have been like 3 0 up at this time. But yeah, Paris Saint Germain in clinicality. We don't go with each other at the moment. But then Brest, beautiful long ball here behind Paris Saint Germain's high line. Ramos and Pimbele couldn't get the best out of Onar and a great finish top of the net. 1-1, and here's where the game became very hard for Paris Saint-Germain. Nuno Mendes straight in the second half here, finding Lionel Messi outside of the box, as he always does. Messi takes the shot off the target. Soler, Fabian, Leo, Mbappé. Mbappé, what are you doing? Disgusting, absolutely disgusting finish here from Kylian Mbappé. Even though Messi and Soler were there, of course, I understand Mbappe goes for the shot, but it needs to be go. It needs to be a goal. Again, Warren Zara Emery finding Soler here between the lines. Soler gives it back to Leo. Leo takes the shot. And again, great save from Bizut. Paris and Men just can't get that winner. Mbappe finding Nuno here. Nuno fake shots. The guy takes the shot straight at Bizot. Shot saved yet again. Leo finding Nuno the great pass. Nuno just can't get the shot. And at this time, I was like, yeah, I don't think we're getting the win. Because if we are keep, if we're going to keep on missing all of these big chances, we're not going to get the win. But 89th minute, Brest, I don't know why they were so confident. They felt they could get a winner. So they pushed up a lot. Nuno here finds a mess messy between every single line. Leo finds it to Mbappe. Mbappe goes past Bizot and scores 2-1 Paris Saint-Germain. At the end of the game, three points, victory, à la Paris. But, talking about performance, this was not a good performance from Paris Saint-Germain. Not a single player for me stood out in this game. It was a very, very mid-performance. And for us, take, taking us 90 minutes to get the win against a 15th place Boris, 
there are some question marks to be held. But I thought that the team was underperforming a lot. And that's the reason. We just didn't take our chances. Of course, Brest made it even harder playing that 4-5-1. But I still expect, I don't know, two... Maybe even three goals from all the chances we could not muster in. And that goes to Mbappé, that goes to Messi, that goes to Nuno Mendes as well. He, they, those three players got the biggest chances in this game. And Pembele question marks over him if he's good enough to play for Paris Saint-Germain. Because both offensively and defensively, I don't really know what he offers. But the excuse that Pembele has is he's been out with an ACL for almost a year. And recently came back. So... That's the only excuse I have for him, but I wish Hakimi and Mukiele come back as soon as possible. And uh, Nuno Mendes, he had a 50-50 game. Like, he did a lot of great stuff, for example, that pre-assist to the last goal there at the end, made some great runs, but he's shooting, everything else, losing the ball sometimes, giving away fouls. So it was a very 50-50. It was, he, he did great stuff, but he also did bad stuff. So, Nuno. I, I expect better from you. Danilo Pereira and Ramos, another clean performance. I, I, I won't blame that thing on Ramos at the end because, I mean, we know he's, he doesn't have that pace. Like, it wasn't like he got cooked or something. It was just a great ball behind the line and there wasn't that much both him and Pembele could do on that chance. But if there's someone that could do a bit better, it could have been Pembele because Ramos was on him all the time. Pembele could have gone around him. But yeah, it just didn't happen. And Danilo and him... Great defensive performance yeah. again. Marco Verratti, Warren Zaira, Emery, first start together in this pivot. It looked great, but I need to see much better. It felt a bit like Warren was a little brother to Verratti in the game. That he was always beside him. And we saw a bit more from Warren Zaira, Emery in the second half as well when he switched to right back position. But I need to see more of this. We need to see more Verratti, Warren Zaira, Emery in the pivot. And that's why it's being reported that Verratti wants more of Warren alongside him. Fabian Ruiz should never start for Paris Saint-Germain again. These kind of performances are so disgusting. So disgusting. He just... I feel for Fabian because he just doesn't fit us. He just doesn't fit us. We should never have signed Fabian Ruiz. And Soler, I mean, his first half, it was a bit cheeky. Of course, he got that goal, created one, two chances here and there. Had that shot that went to the crossbar. But in the second half, whoa, he went back to Solerino Gostiano. I did not see anything apart from that one, two with Lionel Andreas Messi. But Messi, whoa, 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 whoa. This was probably Lionel Messi's worst game, if you look into context. Because, I mean, I mean he's had some worst games. But that was, it's when he's not fit. When he recently came back from the holiday. He recently came back from my like, one game off. This game, he has rhythm. He has everything. And it was just not a Messi performance. He was losing the ball. I know he created chances. But the standards I have for Messi. And people say, oh, he's 35. Yeah, but. Still, 35-year-old Messi for Paris Saint-Germain this season has done much, much, much better than this. And Kylian Mbappé, what a fraud performance, making absolutely no runs. Shot. I mean, he, the only thing he did great sometimes was his passing, but even that was nothing spectacular. So Kylian Mbappé, I don't know what's wrong with you. You got that goal at the end. You were... I, I, I'm tired of this guy. And this is what Galti said after the game. I speak every day with my management. Luis Campos is by my side every day. The president is very present. We have to finish the season. Look for the title. There is unity. I am a coach who will fight with the team to look for the 11th league and title. Of course, Galti knows there is a bit of pressure on his job for the upcoming season. But we'll see what happens. That was it for the Paris Saint-Germain versus Brest review. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the PSG YouTube channel. And as always, ale ale. Allez Paris